Hello and greetings. This is Corey from the Box Scholar YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me today. If you are a lover or a connoisseur of the music of J.S. Bach, how much would you give in order to be 100% certain what tempos Bach intended for his music? Many performers are uh, just sort of in the dark about how fast or how slow to play Bach's music. And uh, I have a new book that I have been actually working on for 30 years. That's 3-0, 30 years. Let me tell you about it. Uh, back in 1992, I was a graduate student in piano and musicology at the University of Kansas. And I happened to have stumbled across what I believe was a groundbreaking discovery. I discovered the tempos that Bach intended for his music. Now, how did I do this? Well, it, it's difficult to explain. I can't really explain everything in this video, but uh, I invite you to go over to the Bach Scholar website, links below this video, and you can read some of what's up on my blog now called Discovering box secret tempo code this was a project that i began 30 years ago in 1992 it's 2022 as i speak right now i spent at least 10 years compiling information and data on all of box works or all of his major works for all of the instruments and all the genres and i made a startling startling discovery over those years that uh, the tempos that Bach planned for his music are actually determinable. It, it's like uh, figuring out a, a secret kind of puzzle or something. Bach had a system, Bach had a special system of tempo that he used throughout his life and all of his compositions. I would say probably 98, 95 to 98 percent of his works are uh, imbued with this where you have planned durations for each movement. And so sort of working backwards like a, um, a detective would work, I discovered that Bach followed these certain um, uh, ways of operation. And you can tell this by how many measures that he writes in his compositions. You can see little, little uh, red flags all over his music. Anyway, I, I don't want to get into the details here in this video. But just to make a long story short, I have determined the tempos, the exact tempos that Bach intended for his music, for all instruments, not just piano, but for organ, for the violin works, the orchestral works, the cantatas, and so forth. And this, this is what eventually, uh, most likely in 2023, will uh, materialize into a book called Discovering Bach's Secret Tempo Code, Reconstruction of J.S. Bach's System of Tempo, Symmetry, Symbolism, and Theological Significance. Now, it sounds like a really heady, uh, highfalutin book that you won't understand, but I'm keeping it really simple. I'm keeping the language simple. I'm not using big words. I'm not using big theoretical, theoretical concepts that you know, you have to have a PhD to understand it. I'm putting it, I'm, I'm making it readable and understandable by the common person. This is what makes my writing different than most other scholars' writings. I'm not writing this book for uh, a bunch of uh, professors in an ivory tower uh, who will never read it. I'm writing this book because it's been my passion for the last 30 years. So I began this project in 1992. It's now 2022, 30 years later. And I'm uh, just earlier this year, I started going full force again because I really want to finish this project. I put it on, on pause for about 20 years. We didn't do anything with it because I was working on other things. And then uh, I finally said, you know, I've got to do it now. If I don't do it now, then it will never get finished. So. I took out my my files, which I had, you know, stashed away in a in a folder somewhere on my computer, and started looking at those. What I did 30 years ago, and I started revamping them. I uh, started revising it, 
and uh, my, my theory is as good as ever now that I have determined the exact tempos that Bach planned for his music. If you're interested in this and you want to help me out, please go over and make a kind donation to, uh, to my project. And I have it, it's all over the Bach Scholar website now. You can't miss it, especially when you go to Discovering Bach's Secret Tempo Code. In, there's a blog, which I have. It's, it's an unfinished blog. But it's an ongoing blog which consists of what eventually will be the finished book. It will be the finished product uh, coming this coming year in 2023. And uh, I've been working on this uh, full force for at least three hours a day. I don't get paid for any of those hours. I, I, have to, I have to let you know I'm not backed by an institution. I'm not a professor in an institution, so I don't get grants. I don't get funding from from a university to do this study. I don't get any funding at all. This is from the bottom of my heart. I spend at least three, if not four hours every day doing research on this book. It takes a lot of time to listen to recordings and to make my little charts and make my little diagrams and to do the calculations. It's a long and involved process. The good news is the book, as I speak, is about, I would say, probably 50% completed. So it's a big, huge project. This is, this is a monumental project that if, if I sat down from the beginning to the end and charted that out, it would probably take a total of at least five years of nonstop work every day. That's how big this project is. But luckily, I got a lot of it done 30 years ago and even 20 years ago. I got a lot of it done. I got a lot of that, a lot of that research done that takes a lot of time to do. So the, now it's sort of just sort of cruising along and sort of going downhill. And I can see the end. The end is, is there. I see the end coming. But still, it's going to require a lot of work at least three hours a day of me writing this book. So since I'm self-employed, I don't have an institution backing me, I'm just asking from, from the bottom of your heart if you could make a kind donation to my project, Discovering Box Secret Tempo Code. And uh, if you make a donation of so much, I have specified that amount uh, on the website, then you'll get a free PDF when the book is ready. It's going to be a big book. It's going to be a big, thick book, probably bigger, even bigger than Sight Reading and Harmony. It's going to be a big, thick book with a spiral binding on it like this, and it will have uh, all the information on how Bach's system of tempo worked and why he did it. And then I'm going to have part two of the book lists pretty much all of Bach's major works with, and with temporal analyses and the tempos for each piece. So if you're, if you're, let's say, you're an organist, let's say, and you're wondering about this prelude and fugue, like, you know, how fast or how slow should I play this prelude and fugue? Well, you simply just look it up in the book and I give you the answer, and then you play it at those tempos. It's really that easy. So uh, I make it really easy for the reader but in order for me to get to that place, I really would like to have some financial backing because I said I'm self-employed and I do this from the bottom of my heart. I don't get paid for any of the hours that I put into this. So I know that there's a lot of, uh, a lot of people out there on YouTube, viewers who are, who, are, who are fans or supporters of Box Scholar just go and just give $1 or $5. Whatever you can will really help out and it would really I would really appreciate that. And like I said, if you give so much, you'll get a free PDF when the book is completed. I will also keep everyone posted on what's going on and I'm going to post other videos on various topics related to this coming up. So thank you for viewing this video and Thank you in advance for supporting me in my huge project that I'm working on, 
discovering box secret tempo code it's going to be a barn burner of a book it's going to be my best book yet it's going to be probably three times better than this book and this book gets great reviews so once again i thank you for viewing this video and thanks in advance for your support